Bigger is always better, right? And here at TFL Truck, I'm trying to learn about bigger vehicles. And there are very few vehicles bigger than this. What you see behind me is the brand new Winnebago Horizon. And this is currently the biggest, the baddest, and the most expensive Winnebago Coach RV on sale today. But that's not just it. It has a very unique interior and a lot of really cool features. So you gotta watch this and check it out. It costs almost half a million bucks. This is what you get for that money. These series of videos is brought to you by our friends at TransWest. Check them out using the link below for your truck, trailer, and RV needs. And this is one big RV. If you look at some of the other RVs, they're using some of the components from other pickup trucks or SUVs like the headlights, and some of the grill designs. But what I like about the Horizon, it has a unique look. They're using round headlights and marker lights up front, and it just makes it stand out. They're telling me what makes the Horizon really unique is the interior, just the style and the design and the sleekness of it. How sleek can it be? Well, let's go check. Whoa. Now this is a totally different experience on the inside here. And you can see with this contemporary, very sleek, modern look, uh, it really does have a wow factor to it. Yeah. Uh, particularly the counter, uh, counter space you get in the kitchen, which is larger than just about any in the industry. They really designed this with the full timer in mind, somebody who's gonna be living in it for a few months mm -hmm. or half of the year. So let's uh, kind of open some of the cubbies and show the features because it's like there's always something else to discover. Yeah. Well, first thing, these are Technoform cabinets. They're made in Milan, Italy, and Winnebago is the only company using this cabinetry. Uh, you also notice everything's a hidden hinge or a hidden latch. Okay. These are bloom hinges and latches, uh, one of the highest in the industry. And it's a complete line, nothing broken with uh, you know, styles in the middle, mm -hmm. mullions and things like that. So it really gives it a lot of storage with a very, you know, contemporary look to it. All right, and I see kind of pipe lighting, right? That's the whole style? That's right, they eliminated all the puck lighting, the little round lights uh -huh. that you normally see. These are LEDs, they're all dimmable, okay. and uh, gives it a real modern look. All right, well, let's start here in the front and then move forward um, towards the back. So this what, is, what's, what's the deal here? This is what they call their glide and dine. And this table, not only is it movable, you know, back and forth, depending on what configuration you want, mm -hmm. but it also has a couple of leafs that you can put in here. So if you're eating with, you know, four or five people, you have plenty of room to, to get everybody in here. Okay. When you're done, if you want to get it out of the way, you can pull your chairs out and move it over. Let's go to the kitchen. Okay. Now, first off, it has a really nice double sink. And there always seems to be a debate whether, you know, a couple might want one large sink or two separate. I think what Winnebago's done with this sink, having, you know, a, almost a 60-40 design, mm -hmm. is the best of both worlds here. Uh, you do have sprayers, full residential type features mm -hmm. throughout. And again, when you put your covers back on, uh, tons of counter space for prepping a meal or something like that. Kind of a clean look, yeah. It is. Uh, everything has gone to the induction cook surfaces. Mm -hmm. It's an all electric system that runs off your batteries and your inverters. One nice thing I like about the uh, Horizon Kitchen is this little cubby compartment here. Your doors slide out of the way. You have your microwave up here. Plenty of room for coffee makers, toaster ovens, other appliances. Uh, you get some very nice uh, you know, storage down here. This is your dishwasher. And then you have a large compartment here for pots and pans or bigger items. Another uh, new feature is all of their doors, drawers in the kitchen are what they call the soft close drawers. So you just get it close, it'll close itself. Nice. Very large storage throughout. Okay. 
this fridge is basically residential. It size, is. Right? It is. It's all electric, 23 cubic feet. Uh, they went with the French door refrigerator. And uh, I like this style because in the freezer down below, you know, you can keep, you know, cold stays down, right? So yep. you don't lose as much of the freeze and here. Plenty of compartments down here to store your items. Some of the freezers, the uh, side by sides are so narrow, it's a much better setup. Yeah, I like this style in general. This is Winnebago's own sofa. It's called the Rest Easy Sofa. Mm -hmm. One of the nice features, uh, a lot of your higher end diesels tend to have ottomans or foot rests with them. Mm -hmm. With the Rest Easy, it's actually built right in to the sofa. So you can pull this up, push it back into where you want it. And then if you're sitting here watching TV, you may want to recline this sofa a little bit. So you can get okay. yourself comfortable. There you go. Nice. And we have a button back here for the middle section. So you can actually lay this down into a bed. Let me try. Oh, yeah. Another nice feature is when it is time for TV, I can lift it right here. There we go. So the power TV option in here. Yep. And there's a sound bar I can see it below it. Too. Right, so you got right. The sound. Uh, Winnebago decided to eliminate the speakers and the subwoofer and go with the sound bar. They find for TV, most people don't use them. Yeah. You get terrific sound with this and uh, just a nicer setup. Yeah, but there's a couple extra speakers. I mean, if you need other uh, radio, right? Right, the, that's for your dash radio. Okay. And you also have an entertainment system outside with its own speakers. Another nice feature that uh, Winnebago uses is the one key system. Your ignition key is also the same key that will unlock your TV compartment. How many TVs does this thing have? Uh, I mean, two inside at least. Yep, you have actually three with your televator, your bedroom TV, and then with this outside TV, and there is an option to get an overhead. So there can okay. be four TVs in it. Up to four. Yep. And, and this you can is a Samsung. this out? Yep. It's a Samsung TV with its own sound bar. Once you release it, pulls out, kind of tilt it wherever you want to go. Ah, uh, nice. Uh, one of the nice features uh, about the Horizon when you come in the entry door, you have a lot of your controls right here. Again, your Firefly system, you can turn all the lights on and off from right here. You've got your battery disconnects, uh, your compartment door latches and so forth. Just very convenient when you're walking in the door. There's an electric fireplace here. This is more than just decorative. It'll actually heat this whole area, you know, on a chilly morning. Okay. Uh, I think it's about a 5200 BTU electric furnace there. Power button for the fireplace. Ooh. Ah. It actually does provide some heat. And also a light show. Ah. And there is storage in a lot of places you don't expect them here. Mm -hmm. you know, both of these have cabinets in them. Not real large, but for your uh, remote controls or other items. Uh, How about this chair here? Or is this can be reconfigured in other ways? It can be moved out. It yeah. is a recliner. Uh, you know, has the footrest to it. Again, this is the ultra leather furniture. Winnebago is one of the few companies that uh, actually uh, upholsters most of their own furniture. Mm -hmm. They do so much of the assembly in-house rather than farming that out. Again, you have a little storage here and there is a pull-out table. Very neat. So you could Very actually convenient. maybe do some work here, maybe laptop or something? Yep, exactly. All right. Again, as long as we're here, one of the features that Winnebago use, it's called the Firefly Multiplex System for your lighting, your fans, and you have controls all over the coach. Some of them up front, you can turn a master switch to turn all the lights on and off. If I want my reading lights, my accent lights, I can access them from here. Uh, you can turn on your power fans and things like that. All of this operates on your 12 volt system. The other feature I think is just the windows in here, right? You know, these are probably the largest windows of any motorhome in this uh, class. It almost looks like a bus. Um, you know, even the windshield, although many other products have larger windshields, because of the cabinets and the dash, your actual viewing range is less. It's a very panoramic view no matter where you sit in this coach. All right, well, let's uh, look at the uh, back of the bus. Okay. 
Uh, as you walk through the 40A, it's got a center bathroom. Uh, you can access it here, we'll show you that in a minute. But as you step into the bedroom. All right, after a tough day, you gotta relax. What I like is there are control panels under here once again, so you can control the TV in the bedroom. You can also control your bed from here. You could sit up a little. Ooh. Nice. I never thought there would be so many cubby holes and even basically a walk-in closet here for all your stuff, your shoes, your shirts, your little knickknacks. Winnebago has breakers as opposed to fuses. Everything is labeled, you know, if you uh, have a light that's not working, that's probably the first place you want to look. Control Easy panel access there. to yeah. it. And then here behind me, we have a stackable washer and dryer. So these wow. Kind of go back in. Okay. So it's nice when you are back here doing laundry, you know, have access to it. When you're done, you close it all up. It's not in the way. Mm -hmm. There are six deep full glide cabinets and uh, a nice storage inside. Again, these are the soft closed cabinets like all of them are. Ah, walk through bathroom. Yeah, it is. And once again, with the emphasis on storage, we have three nice uh, storage drawers mm -hmm. here. There's actually three medicine cabinets in this unit. Okay. And then uh, the dual sink. Uh, you'll notice their sinks are a single handle control. Again, very uh, contemporary. Uh, keeping it simple is elegant in their mind. Mm -hmm. And then if you look behind you, there is a large shower with a built-in seat. And uh, notice the, uh, the lighting behind the stainless steel panel there. Yeah. And again, the Tecna toilet here, which is a uh, porcelain bowl toilet push button controls so you don't okay. have that old step pedal to use. Mm -hmm. This is not a totally unique design, but I really like the options. You can get into the bathroom from the kitchen, from the bedroom, or you can also close in the bedroom for some privacy too. Well, show me some of the driver controls and how, how does that work? Okay. Well, so first of all, let's mention the engine first. Here is this big boy engine. This is the 8.9 liter Cummins ISL. And in this version, in the 42 Horizon, it's rated at 450 horsepower and 1,250 pound-feet of torque. It's basically a semi-truck engine and it's made it to a six-speed Allison automatic transmission. And it has a lot of fuel capacity, 150 gallons worth of diesel. So you could go potentially 800 to 1,000 miles maybe on a fill, and it will take you, what, about 450 bucks if the diesel is $3 a gallon to fill this bad boy up. You know what? It's actually kind of quiet standing right next to the engine. It's a diesel, but it's kind of quiet. These seats are extremely comfortable. You can adjust them to fit just about any size or shape. Uh, they actually have pedals that, uh, let me find that. These will move in or out depending on how long your legs are or okay. where you might want them set. Uh, they went with a new glass dash. Nice feature there. All of your uh, diagnostic shows up. And they also have probably uh, the largest monitor, 10 yeah. and a half inches. Uh -huh. It's got your Rand McNally navigation. You have three cameras, a backup camera. The side camera is actually mounted way up high on the mirror here. Gives you a view down the coach, which is really useful for blind spots, right? Not only that, when you're backing into a spot in a park, you can uh, put that blinker on and see down the side. Yeah, it's really cool. 
once you get used to the Rand McNally system, it's great navigation, particularly for the RVers. It'll let you know, you know, what roads might have lower bridges, uh, you know, where you uh, want to pull over so to extra get fuel. information. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. So, uh, how does that work? Can you also like pair your phone or? All yep, that stuff? It, it, there is Bluetooth in it, so you can uh, pair your phone to it. Mm -hmm. Like I say, the passenger has the same options. Nice. There's also a, uh, a uh, cover for that step well, so the passenger can rest their feet comfortably. Yeah, I noticed that. And then if we uh, finally get to where we're going and we want to spin these around, the passenger gets a nice foot rest. Of course, uh, the driver, we don't want that to pop open while you're going down the road. Right, right. The driver has to have a little bit more technical. But this actually becomes part of the living area. I like this floor plan right here, but you have a slightly larger version of this with exterior storage. Can you show me that? Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's go see. There are two versions of the Horizon bus. The 40 you see over there, and that's the interior we just looked at, which is a little bit unique. And the 42 you see right behind me, which is a little bit a longer version with different interior. But I wanna show you the exterior storage and show you this coach moving. So let's go. This particular version has three slides, two on this passenger side and one huge one on the driver's side. We're gonna bring the slides in right now and then we can get it moving. All right, so this is the 42 model, different floor plan, but let's just show it how you, you know, we're folding the slides in so we can get going. Okay. Yeah. First thing we need to do to bring the slide in is raise this bed. Obviously, if you want a bed like this during the day, you could also have that, right? Exactly. Yep. If you want to sit back here and watch TV. Slide controls over here, and you've actually got them up front too, but I can uh, bring this bedroom slide in. It's very interesting. The mechanism is designed where it picks up the floor first and then kind of slides it back in. So there's a little bit of an angle to it. And I think it's because this is a gigantic, very long slide out. This wouldn't be a coach without some awnings, right? That's right. <laughs> Let me show you what we've got here. All right. First of all, we have a doorway awning. Even with the door open? Yep. Nice. And then our main awning. All right, so now you got a lot of shade. Well, now let's open the, uh, all the cubbies. Okay. So before we start, um, tell me a little bit about the Maxim chassis. How, do, how does that work? Well, this is a sort of a modified Freightliner that Winnebago built. The nice thing about the Maxim is it lowers the chassis rails, which does two things. Number one, it gives you a lower center of gravity for you know better, uh, better handling, yeah. but also it gives you larger storage compartments. Uh, virtually no other company I know of has a compartment this wide with a double slide out tray that will slide out from either side. Okay. And then, as you see, you get storage underneath it because of the taller compartments. And they provide some nice Tupperware bins. Uh, you have the same thing on the other side okay. with the storage. In this front compartment, you can see we have uh, part of our central vac system. Not only do you have the hoses for cleaning inside, but you can bring it out here, clean all of your uh, you know, compartments out, okay. vacuum off your uh, patio furniture and so forth. One other thing I might point out while we're here, this is one of the fuel fills. You have a full fuel fill on both sides. Okay. So it doesn't matter what side of the uh, pump you pull up to, you can uh, easily get yourself fueled up. And these big boys usually pull up with truck stops or? Typically. What's the, what's the typical situation? Yeah, yeah, truck stops. The nice thing about that is you can get your def fluid when you're getting also. your diesel at the truck stop. This is just another little compartment. You do have your water uh, bypasses here and your low point drain. So when it comes time to winterize, very fast and easy. All right, let's keep going. Now this is a great feature over here. This is a uh, refrigerator freezer on a slide out tray. So when you're uh, outside entertaining, 
if you want to fill this with beer or ice or whatever. And then this compartment. Is it part of where the engine hides? It is. This is actually your exhaust, your particulate chamber. Yeah. And your def fluid fill is on this side. And again, you see the uh, breakers the that are fluid. typical of the Winnebago's. These are your chassis batteries. And the massive exhaust system. So this is a 450 horse option. Correct. Um, same one, 8.9 liter. On the 450, you do get a side radiator. Okay. This is your water compartment. Again, you've got part of your Firefly system here. You can turn your pumps on and off, uh, turn your lights on here. And also, you don't have to get down on your hands and knees to dump this. Once you're hooked up, you have little cutouts here for your water hoses, for your sewer hoses. Uh, your dump valves are right here. Of course, you pull the black tank first, then dump your gray tank. But so many of the coaches, you're down on one knee. Uh, reaching underneath? Reaching underneath to do that. You also have an outside shower, your uh, Santa flush, which is a pressure sprayer basically inside that black tank, which helps okay. wash out the residue, keep it clean. Okay. And then your water fill, if you're at a uh, campground that has city water, you just hook up. You're pressurized, you don't even need a pump. Otherwise, you can flip this over to tank fill, uh, fill up your uh, fresh water tank. And there's also, what is it called? Inline heater, water heater? Correct. What is that called? What it is, it's a hydronic heating system. Uh, Numar uses the Aqua Hot, and uh, that's right here. So, what it is, is glycol coils that heat up your water for showering and so forth. It provides the furnace heat for the coach. Uh, you have both an electric and a diesel element in there. And this runs off the diesel fuel tank. So there's really no need for propane in this coach, although they do provide a bottle primarily for barbecues and outside appliances. And that's in one of these front compartments. All right, nice. And this is the other side of your main storage compartment. And it slides this way and too. And again, this tray can pull out this side also. And then this last one, uh, again, breakers for the uh, components here. And then your generator is right behind that. That would pull out the front. 10,000 uh, watt generator, which is large enough to run all three air conditioners. Another thing about the, uh, the uh, Horizon windshield, although it, there may be other windshields that are larger, the view you get inside because of the dash and because of the cabinets, they're not taking up space. So as you go down the road, very panoramic view. So you're saying the windshield is a little bit lower so you can see more? Uh, yeah, or? well, if you look at some of our other products, you'll see a, a larger windshield, but it doesn't actually give you a better view. Because of the dash and yep. the, the design. Okay, exactly. I got it. The vehicle weight, kind of empty, is just around 34,000 pounds, and uh, gross vehicle weight is approaching 50,000 pounds. It's basically a semi, it's using air brakes. It's got air suspension. It's got an Allison transmission controls here. So I just released my brake, I put it in drive, and I'm ready to go. And it doesn't take much. All that torque you have there, you let off the brake, and the bus is already moving. Turning this bus is both, you get, you get used to it, but it's also pretty easy. Let me show you. Basically, you're sitting on the front axle, right here, so you gotta remember that. The axle is not in front of you. It's right underneath you. And then you obviously have to make a wide turn. Pretend you're towing a trailer. So if you're towing a trailer, you kinda know what I'm talking about. You gotta make a really wide turn right there and the mirrors are big I like that so you can kind of tell exactly where you are this bus is about eight and a half feet wide maximum width but I'm not even pushing on the gas pedal very uh, heavily I mean this bus just wants to run driving it is pretty easy but you gotta remember a lot of weight so you gotta brake early early braking you're still carrying a lot of weight. Yes, the brakes are powerful, but still. 
You also don't want to push all your silverware and all your china around, so you gotta be gentle. Yeah, this is a very big vehicle, but it can actually turn in the same radius or diameter as a one-ton truck. And Mark will demonstrate that now. We'll check it out. Because there's no engine in the front, you can actually cut the steering wheel in a very big way. In the matter of a little parking lot, you're all turned. Guys, the MSRP on this bus is almost half a million bucks. And go back to tfltruck.com for more news views and real world RV and also truck reviews.